This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. My name is Tiffany and today we are starting to get ready for RISD Craft. Unfortunately, by the time this video comes out, RISD Craft has definitely come and gone. It was October 7th and I ideally wanted to get this video out before then. I already know, judging by the time I'm starting to film this, which is the day before the event, that we are not gonna be able to make that happen. I took a big break last month from vlogging and I'm still trying to like get back into it. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. And since I've been away so much for work, traveling and stuff, I want to show you guys what I do to prepare my studio for when I'm away because being a traveling artist has been really really fun lately but it's only something I'm going to be doing for pretty much this month so I have a lot of new things that I've figured out. I am here and I am ready to start getting ready for RISD Craft. If you guys don't know what RISD Craft is, it's basically like another art boothing event, but this is like the art and boothing event that I personally like to go to. It's for RISD alumni and current students, I think, but I know a lot of alumni go back. And I went last year and it was honestly, since I've been doing tabling for about a year now on and off, it's honestly been the literal best event that I've gone to so far. The traffic there is phenomenal. There's so many people that go. So I definitely will be trying to go again next year as well. And I'm even thinking about going the summer because they have two events. They have one in October and they have one in the summer. So I'm thinking this summer I might stop by as well. But right now we are getting ready because this is the autumn one. It's also going to be parents weekend. So it's like a huge, huge thing at the school. So I'm really excited. But I have a lot of stuff left over from the months before because I've been doing a little bit of tabling on and off. If you guys want to see my last vlog where I was tabling, I have the video right here. It was really, really fun. But I will say nothing so far has compared to RISD Craft. I'm going to be trying to do some conventions coming up soon. Nothing planned and yet I'm just gonna start applying because I feel like it's like application season right now. Another studio vlog, another um, preparing vlog slash I'm probably kind of put the literal footage from the event here because every time I film these things it's just so exhausting that by the time I get there and I'm finally tabling I don't really have a lot of time to film and stuff. I'm gonna have a little bit of help this year because my boyfriend's gonna go with me so that's gonna be super nice. Last year I soloed this trip and it was a little bit intense but we are leaving literally tonight and we are going to be getting there a day early so currently it's Thursday, I'm gonna be leaving tonight and we're gonna be getting there Friday morning, afternoon-ish. We're gonna have a whole day there and then Saturday is the actual event. But I'm gonna go and see what stock I currently have prepared because I've also gotten a lot of new stuff in my whole space series and also a lot of my Halloween stuff. So that's really exciting. Luckily, I wrote everything down in my Notion already. So I have the stats from last year. So this is what I did last year. This is just left over from that. But as you can see, my variety was not very big big. All I had were blobfish keychains and phone grips. And then I had the earrings that I was making that I don't make anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, six sticker packs and a couple different sticker sheets and prints. I had four sticker sheets and two prints, which is crazy because currently if you guys go on my website, you guys know I have way more variety than that. So there's been a lot of growth in our little business in just one year, which is incredible. I'm super happy about that. We have a lot more different stock this year. And then this is how I did it. So I wrote down the price at which I was selling selling everything at. And I do this for most of my major events. Also, my prices have gone down since this. So like the phone grips used to be $18 and now I think they sit around $14. Just because like as my business has grown, I've also been able to make my stuff slowly more affordable. You can see I did the price. I did the quantity of how many I packed. So this is how many I would bring. So I brought like 80 keychains, which is a lot of keychains. This is total profit, which means it's just like the price times the quantity. So if I hypothetically sold everything, that's how much I would make. But that's mostly just for myself. And then what I do is after the event I enter what's left so the number for there so like I had 39 left out of the 80 so then my application kind of like counts it for me because I had my notion page set to have a little formula so just like subtracting and multiplying and everything so it tells me how many are sold and then the profit I made so for 80 keychains that I brought I sold 41 of them for phone grips I brought 50 and I sold 13 things like that it goes down and then I have sticker packs as well things like that so I'm able to keep track so I know this year for keychains I should bring around like 40 of each and of course course that's just a very big like thing that I personally do I don't really know how other people do it I watch a lot of videos of people who like table and do stuff like that and I talk to a few people that I personally know but not really about the nitty-gritty like this so that's just how I do it and how I find most manageable so I count all of the products that I bring before there and then when I come back I do a little inventory check and typically with the leftover inventory I just try to sell it online uh, in my online shop which if you guys don't know I do have an online shop and it's currently running it's selling all the Halloween goodies and they are all still up there I I think the UFOs are a little bit low in 
stock though. And then I got the pink bunny journals back in stock recently. So I'm so happy about that because I know a lot of people wanted those. And last time I did not order enough, but I felt so bad. So this time around, we have enough of those. I ordered like a hundred or more of them. So they should be in stock for a minute. As I was saying, I do it like that. I come back, I count, and then I sell stuff in my online shop, which I've built by the way, with the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. And I want to thank Squarespace again, because I've been running my shop online for a while now. As you can see, my business has grown a lot in a year. And I want to say that I've come from a very like everyday perspective kind of thing when it comes to running my own business. I kind of did everything in-house. I still do everything in-house. I've really tried to make it as approachable as it can be for not only myself, but for you guys, because I know a lot of you guys are also trying to start your own business. If you guys want to start selling your stuff online, I would definitely recommend Squarespace because their commerce tools are amazing. It's super user friendly because I'm very bad with like technological stuff. Like when I stream on Twitch and stuff, my biggest struggle is the technology and figuring out stuff like that. But with Squarespace and their commerce tools, they do everything for you. So they really like count your money for you. They do shipping for you. They make it so approachable. So if you guys haven't tried Squarespace for yourself, you definitely can. You can use the link in the description box that I put there for you or go to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang and use the code Tiffany Wang for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So you can also customize that. So instead of going to like some super weird website handle, you can go to like yourname.com if that's not taken. So that's how I got Tiffany.com. I love it. So I'm very happy about Squarespace's help for us in our business lately. And it has just been incredible. But yeah, that's how I count all of my inventory. So I'm gonna go and get a count of what's left over from the last few tabling events. Cause I'm not gonna lie. They didn't go absolutely incredibly. So I don't think I really sold out of anything from there. The last one I did was in July, I wanna say. So I still have a lot of stuff left over from there. So let's go see what we have going on. So now let's do some studio prep, which is just how I prepare the studio for when I'm away. Like I said, I've been traveling a lot as an artist and I'm about to go on another trip for tabling. So I'm super excited, but here are some of the things that I do to keep everything in order. Number one is I'm gonna pack some new inventory. Obviously for this event, I'm gonna have to be packing a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to get all my new products into their packaging. A lot of these guys are left from the last time we did tabling. These little phone grips, as you can see, I don't wanna take them all out of the box, but I packed a bunch of these last time around. It's kind of nice having them packed because it's like, you know, they're they're ready to go. But it's also not nice because that means you have to kind of remember where they are. Here are the phone grips we have currently packed. So we have these ones. These are the candy bond ones. We have these spooky kitty ones, blob fishes, only a few. Um, I think these are some of the last few that we have. And then we have these guys, little ghosties, little flowers. And they take up a lot more space when they're like in the packaging, obviously. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little organizing, but so far, lots of fun little, little guys. And I feel like this lamp should be on. I don't know, it feels dark in here today. It's starting to get gloomy because it's starting to become like fall season. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little organizing to see what we have going on. But so far, lots of, fun little, little guys. <laughs> Now that I have everything prepared and ready for this event, which to be honest, I only did like the day before because I kind of just got super busy with the other stuff. We are now going to pack everything into the suitcase and everything fit in the check-in pretty well. I was like 49.9 pounds, so we were just right under the weight limit. But the second thing after actually preparing for this event is I'm going to ship all of the orders that I have remaining from my website. I'm going to be making sure that all of the orders that I have are shipped and ready to go. So we have a big order today to pack to make sure that it can get out in time. If you're wondering what's currently on my desk today, I'm doing some order packing. This is a really big order for Lenny and I am so happy. Lenny's been a really long time viewer and I'm so grateful for them because they always order so many things from me. So I wanna show you guys this really big order. So to start, of course, we have a thank you card as well as this little print. This is one of my favorite ones. It has like silver details and I love it. And then we're going to have a bunch of stickers. So I have four of these little ghost bunnies and these are all from the halloween collection that we just launched so everything is super sparkly and pretty we have four of these little sparkly kitties and i think this is one of my favorite stickers for sure four of these ghost bunnies and i package all these individually as well because i know that she likes to give these to her friends so i figured this would make it a lot easier for her and then we have i don't even know how many like an incredible amount of these skeleton ones i think there's like about 10 in here so these are some some skeleton sticker packs. Then we have two of these UFO shakers or little UFO keychains with little cows in them that shake. A bunny bond shaker. Two of these spooky kitty phone grips. 
a spooky kitty keychain. Three of these little ghosty keychains, and these are like the mini keychains, so they're smaller than my normal ones, but that makes them so cute. And we have three of the standing version of these two, and the backs of these two are actually pink, which I love because I couldn't decide what color to order them in, so I decided just to do a different front and back. And lastly, we have three of these little skeleton keychains as well, which I think came out super cute. And so this is the entire big order for Lenny. Obviously this box is just for me to make reels and stuff with. I'm gonna package it in a better box. Thank you so much Lenny. Also for your patience because I've been holding their order for a little bit to make a bunch of content. So but yeah I've just got all of our new Halloween stuff in and I'm so excited because I think everything looks so so good and I'm very happy about that. So I just built up an actual box I'm planning to use. I'm going to do a stamp that I always do for my packaging. So that's how we do that and it looks super cute. And I'm gonna just keep this pink stuff here because I'm gonna use it to film some more content. I need to do my Peachtober stuff because I've been batching a bunch of them so that I can have them ready in advance because I'm going out of town. Of course we do the little fuzzies and I'm thinking that for this order we may need two boxes um, just because how much stuff there is, but I'm not sure yet. So let's go ahead and see. I'm gonna start with all of these stickers, put them to one side. And it, yeah, we're definitely gonna need more than one box. I can tell already. I think that's pretty much this box at capacity. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up. And I know it's not entirely full, but I just feel like it's not necessary to kind of jam everything in here. Sticker right here. And that's how I've been doing that. Tissue paper and the little crinkles. And then we're just going to place these guys in here. But thank you again so much, Lenny. Like, look how cute that package is. And I'm going to just seal this one up for her as well. And now these guys are on their way to you. So cute. I love, I love these little boxes. Also, just before we pack everything up, I'm gonna include a bunch of business cards for her since she might be sharing these with her friends. So we're just gonna pack this up, put this guy on there. And look how cute that is. I wanna get more of these seals in like different colors, but for now, uh, that's all we're working with, so. Yeah, but now we got these two boxes all ready to go. Yippee! Now after that, I'm just going to film extra content. I've been doing Peachtober this month. It's just like an Inktober thing, but different. And you guys can check out my Instagram to see more of those. But I have to film all the content for this for before I leave so that I can post it while I'm gone. I'm currently doing my Peachtober stuff. I have a bunch of little guys. This one was for Dream. This one is for Blue. And if you guys want to see more of my Peachtober stuff, they're all on my Instagram right now. But you guys are low-key getting a sneak peek right now because some of these are not out yet. This one's really cute. This one was for Ness, and I didn't really know what to do for it at first, but then I remember chickens have nests, and I thought that was really cute. Um, I think those are the ones that I've done so far today, but I still have a couple more to do. We have this sheet, and then we have this sheet. It has quite a few on there, so I'm trying to get these done as soon as possible because uh, I have some other stuff to do today, but it's been really fun so far. The next one I'm doing is weather, and then blush. So right now, I'm just gonna cut these two out. And these two low-key look really cute together. I think I'm gonna turn some of these into prints or stickers after Peachtober is over, just because I think they all came out really cute. I'm glad that I did this, because I feel like it really inspired me to like draw a lot of things I never would have thought to have. And I wasn't really expecting that from doing this. This is my first year doing something hopefully all the way through. Like obviously I've tried to do October and stuff when I was younger, but I never really had the stamina to do it all the way through. But also with digital art, I feel like it's a lot easier to do things like this. So this year is my first year officially doing it all the way through. I foresee myself doing it all the way through so far. And I think with all the ones that I'm preparing today, it takes me through to the 20th. So as long as I can come back and do 10 more days, which I don't see why not, it will have been a success. Also, some of my reels have been getting some really good numbers. So I'm really happy about that too. These two look really cute together. And this one is actually for sidekick. It's like, that's cute because it's like her sidekick. And when I draw myself, I still draw myself with black hair, even though um, in my 
like reality. I no longer have black hair and I haven't really had black hair in a long time, but I feel like in my like mind's eye, I will forever see myself as like a little kid with my natural hair color. So yeah, I didn't even realize how like big of a difference that was until I finished drawing it. Here is just a video of some of the ones I got through today. It's been quite a busy work day, but I think a lot of these came out really, really well, so I'm quite pleased. Um, I kind of did these in a bit of a time crunch, so all things considered, they look pretty good. And lastly, this is kind of just a self-care thing, but I just like to journal and get caught up in my journal before I go, especially if I'm going to go somewhere where I'm so busy that I won't have time to journal. So today I'm just going to be doing some catching up with some new stickers that I got. Also a little bit random, but I just got a bunch of stickers from New York that I'm going to be using today to journal and I just want to show you guys because I'm really excited about it. And this was in my last spread. It was a little bit ago because I've been a little bit busy so I really need to catch up on some of my journaling. So for today, I'm going to show you guys the new stickers I got. And here's some footage from said few days in New York. I've been traveling a lot this month and I'm so glad that my work allows me to travel because honestly being an independent artist, I've been able to do a lot of things and have a lot of flexibility in my time. So I went to New York last week week and then next week I'm going to be doing some work in California. So I'm all over the place this month, but this was from a little girl's trip I had. Oh, they're so cute. cute. Next after that, we're going to go and eat some of my favorite rice balls. This is at iMilky and they have literally the best rice balls ever. I get the pork belly ones and they are so good. I literally love them. I haven't had these in like about a year at this point. So coming back was super duper fun. And I used to be in New York semi often for school, but now I just pretty much visit whenever I can. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm-hmm. Why do you mean the sauce? I'm so happy. But this They're was so, so tasty and you have to get their yellow sauce oh because it's so good. Not sponsored by iMilky LMAO. We have some makeup hauls, of course, and I got a bunch of stickers, which is what we're going to be using to journal today. These are some new stuff I got in New York while I was gone. I got this really cute stationery set that isn't exactly stickers, but they're literally so cute. They have little hamsters. And then I got a bunch of other stuff too. We have cinema roll stickers with milk and mocha and other friends. I got these like little washi tape things, which are so cute. I'm so excited to use. And then I also got these little kitties. There weren't actually as many stickers as I was hoping for, like sticker sheets. So I'm still on the hunt for those, but I'm going to be going to California later. So maybe I'll be able to find some there, but I want to just come and show you guys because they're literally so cute. This, this is so cute. And so I'll come back with a finished journal spread in a bit, but oh my gosh, I'm debating on streaming my journaling on Twitch again, because I think you guys rather like watching me do that. I've been doing that recently on Twitch. So if you guys want to see, this was last time. And if you want to see my new um, spread, you should definitely check it out on Twitch. This is unfortunately kind of crazy, but this is how I'm leaving my studio before we get going because I just, I like did not leave enough time for myself. So a lot of stuff just on the floor. Um, it's kind of crazy out here, but it's okay. We're gonna clean up when we come back, hopefully. Also the desk is pretty crazy as well, but we'll clean everything when we get back. Hello everyone. Oh, I just realized my little baby isn't up. So we could do that. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. My name's Tiffany, we are currently in a hotel in Rhode Island. We're gonna do a tabling event. I am so excited. It's literally gonna be so slay. I did this last year, we're doing it again this year, and I can only imagine the slay it's gonna be. Like in all seriousness, it went really, really well last year, so I'm really hoping that it goes well this year. We're currently in a hotel room, getting ready, or I got ready, and it was super, super early. It's like seven something, it's almost eight right now, but that means I had to wake up at seven, which you guys know I never do, so this was really a struggle, but I landed last night with a really big suitcase full of a bunch of stuff, and I have really cute earrings on today. Do you guys wanna see? They're little like dangly guys, and I have my hair to in that honestly matches my stickers so so well but i'm not gonna lie i didn't do everything for the setup that i wanted to do so we have to go and make the price tags there and we have to do a lot of the setup there i'm a little bit concerned that's gonna take a little bit of time so that's also why we're getting ready so ahead of time but i think last year i did the same thing the lighting is a little bit bad but the sun literally isn't out yet 
so yeah also it's drizzling today which is unfortunate it was really it was really really nice yesterday but of course i had a drizzle today so they tented the whole street i think which is good they didn't do that last year and if i recall correctly it might have drizzled just the slightest bit last year too and they didn't do anything about it so this year at least i guess we're double covered i'm hoping the weather doesn't stop people from coming out because honestly like with events like this the biggest thing is just like no matter how hard you work or what you do or whatever it really just depends on if people show up so yeah i feel like my work is good so as long as people show up we are good but if no one shows up um i just can't do anything about that but let's do a suitcase a suitcase haul really quickly before we get going also do you like my little guy this is the big suitcase that I brought and it's full of all of the stuff that we're gonna use to table today. This is a new display. It's just some like random one off Amazon. Obviously everything I pack has to fit in the suitcase so I couldn't bring like my nice displays, which is really unfortunate because I think it would do really well here. But we have like a lot of stuff in boxes. I put my stickers and stuff in paper boxes because they're paper goods. And then I put some other stuff in here and then all the keychains are in baggies. This is the rain forecast. So we have supposed to rain at 11 and I think it's drizzling now. Light rain expected to stop in 21 minutes. That would slay if it could stop. I don't know. I think it's supposed to like rain again throughout the day, but right now it actually only says it's gonna rain at 11 a.m. and then I think it stopped. So that would be really, really good. Even the humidity, like all my stuff's wrapped in plastic for the most part, but it would just be really inconvenient for everyone involved, you know? Oh, there you are. Now it's time to go. Goodbye, everyone. We're about to Uber and we will see you there. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm also a little afraid, but I think it'll be good. <laughs> we made it. Wow. We are 55. And they tented the whole thing. He's kind of slay. Look how cute. Here's the V4. Wow, all of our stuff. So the setup for this day, I feel like this was a lot better than last year because it was a lot less cold, which was the biggest thing that was affecting me last year. I remember I was wearing a hoodie the entire time, but this time around, I was able to wear my t-shirt and everything was really comfortable. Humidity wasn't crazy, even though it was raining on and off. And since they tented the whole thing, it actually made for a very nice environment. Hopefully the rain didn't stop many people from coming out, but traffic was pretty good overall. But we did a lot of new stuff with the setup today. Like I said, I don't have anything that I have consistent every single time. So Every single time my setup's been a little bit different, but I'm just trying to find stuff that works with me. This is what we have in progress so far. It was going pretty well, especially because this time I had two sets of hands. So I was very thankful for that and it made things a lot easier. The only struggle I had was trying to figure out how to do my keychains and I really just didn't like the way this looked. This is everything for pricing. I think it looks pretty good. Now it's time for pricing. I didn't do these ahead of time like I normally do and I kind of lacked this time around with just writing them on some cute little sticky notes but it got the job done you know but i did think that it would have been better if i had labeled them like i used to just because sometimes people just like don't know what they're looking at and it's easier to just read what something is a lot of tabling stuff i feel like is but that's okay because i feel like a lot of tabling is just like experiences and learning from your past mistakes and so every single time i've been doing things a little bit differently and trying to find out what works for me and so we're just going to finish up these price tags i have an app with the square reader that like reads your credit card so that you're able to just type in what like each thing costs and this year well, i did do one thing differently which is that i kind of standardized a lot of my pricing so all of my keychains minus the special ones were ten dollars and stickers were two dollars each and i think i'm gonna try to do something similar with the sticker packs because i think that made everyone's shopping experience a lot easier but now we are all set up here's what it looks like with all of the price tags and it looks pretty good and i remember last year not having enough stuff to cover the table but this year i have way more stuff that i actually ran out of space and so now that we're done let's start selling wow, hello. <laughs> so cute oh so 
Also, I love your nails. Thank you. You're super cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Oh. Oh, hello. So cute. Oh, hello. Thank you. They came again and slayed. <laughs> Stuff. There was a lot of restocking pretty much when I wasn't selling something I was restocking something because everyone was super excited about like my froggies The UFO shakers were a really good seller and everything and here's me saying okay You can stop filming now because I now have a great cameraman as well And here are a few things that I got from the event I got some of these from friends and from people that I've looked up to a lot over the years going to RISD that now I've introduced myself as an independent artist as well Aftermath it got kind of ransacked up in here and we're out of a bunch of UFOs, but it was good. All the stuff you packed basically sold out. Yeah, it's very epic. Do you feel cool about that? Yeah, I put my booger in one of them. No, you didn't. Don't be I wonder weird. who got the booger one. Don't be weird. I got in last night around like midnight, so I literally leave the day of. I finished the event and then I came home. I did that last year. It worked out really well. I save on a night in a hotel, so I don't have to pay for that. I have other stuff to do too, you know, so I have like work to get back to and stuff. I did miss a day of Inktober, unfortunately, because I was at Risdy Craft and I wanted to plan ahead of time, but there were just so much stuff in my life at that time that I wasn't able to do it. Overall, very slay. All my lip gloss is gone. But we did it. It was so fun. And now we're gonna catch a plane to go home. Bye. So here's the aftermath. I'm now home. And as you can see, we cleared up a lot of space in the suitcase. I also threw like some of my personal clothes in here and stuff. We're gonna go and count and see how much everything we have. Also these boards, they were actually pretty good. So I think I'm gonna keep these because it's nice to have some smaller ones. If you guys remember, I had some really nice displays last time I went tabling. They're just not like easy to carry around. So I may have to do something like this next time. So I'm gonna keep those. Okay, so I am back from RISD Craft. It was super great. It went super well and I am so incredibly tired. It was super great. The foot traffic at RISD Craft is unbeatable. I don't think I went more than a minute or two without selling something the entire time. And RISD Craft is truly a marathon for me. It starts at around like 10, which means we get there at eight to set up, which means I wake up at seven to get ready. So it's literally crazy. Probably be trying to do it this summer, but I will keep you guys updated. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, definitely do because that's where I announce all of my events. Um, but especially RISD Craft, and my tabling events and stuff like that if you guys ever want to catch me in person that stuff is super fun but i'm really glad that it went well i think i still need to up my packaging game for in-person sales because i think some of my products just get a little bit confusing that really is just like a bunch of designing stuff that i have to get to so i still haven't been able to do that yet one day i will we are still working up to that i think today we're just gonna have a nice little chill day where we're gonna count everything because like i said i counted everything before i got there i'm gonna count everything now uh, to get the proper total of how much we made i don't really have many complaints they tented it so we didn't have to worry about rain this year which is nice because last year they kind of just left us in the rain which kind of sucked but it was okay um now that i am back i actually have to start cleaning stuff so i can have space to count everything so i'm gonna clean this desk first so here is the before and here is the after not perfect but definitely good enough to start doing some counting which is great so Woohoo! We did it! Boxes on boxes of stuff. And I'm gonna take everything out because everything got kind of messy as we were packing. Also, someone knocked over my whole box of stuff. Kind of fell on the ground, which is really annoying. So we had to like reorganize everything. So I don't know if we ever did it properly, but hopefully, um, not as much stuff. I don't know. So according to the numbers that we have for the phone grips in total, we sold 11, 16, 21, 26. We sold 26 phone grips. So that is pretty good. The best selling one was by far the candy phone grip one. So this one has been our best seller. I think this one's our best seller in general. So I could have expected that one. Pretty good. I think we sold more phone grips than we did last year. Yes. So that is good. We did. Um, and then I started counting up the keychains, but there's just so many of them. So that one's definitely gonna take me a minute. <laughs> but yes, I'm very happy. And it was yet another successful tabling event. So 